I am now going to show you how to set up the Stratagem transmitter. This transmitter is a portable battery powered EM transmitter. This transmitter consists of an electronic box, a power cable, ground stake, ground wire, frequency switch or start switch, and the actual antenna. I have now laid out the antenna in preparation for setting up the antenna. I have laid out the two sets of legs approximately 90 degrees from each other. The exact orientation is not critical, just needs to be about 90 degrees. Now I need to connect the legs together. They are permanently attached with elastic and so I just pull them apart and snap them back in together. Here we're going to connect the center of the antenna. We take this white center disc here and just stretch one set of legs onto either side. Then we take the other leg, one side, stretch it, and do the other side. We have laid out the antenna, connected all the legs, and connected the center disc. We are ready to actually set up the antenna. This can be done with one person, and I'll do it here by myself, but it is typically a lot easier if you have a helper. So you grab the rope from one, one end of one leg, run it beneath the center disc here, Clip it onto the far side. Now you take the rope from the other remaining leg. Again, run it beneath the center disc. And clip it to the opposite leg. Next, you want to adjust the legs such that the antenna is not leaning too much. Sometimes you'll have to step back a few feet and make sure that the antenna is even. We have now set up the transmitter antenna, so now we're going to connect the antenna cables into the orange transmitter electronic box. There are connectors on each side of the transmitter box. One cable comes in into each side of the transmitter box. This in my hand here is our what we call the frequency switch. It is just the start. This is the start switch for the transmitter. Simply press it to start it, and the transmitter will automatically run by itself and it will shut itself off. If you need to stop earlier, press it again and it'll shut off. The last step here is to connect the battery. First, you want to connect the battery power cable to the orange electronic transmitter box. Then you connect the clips to the battery. 
and you want to be sure to connect the black negative lead last. The transmitter is now set up and ready for operation. The stratagem collects natural field signals. However, sometimes the natural field signals are too weak. So this is why we include a battery power transmitter in every stratagem system. This transmitter will help fill in the natural field with artificial signal. This transmitter is controlled through a simple switch here. It has a light on the end that's on solid when the transmitter is ready to transmit. You start it simply by pressing the switch and the transmitter automatically starts itself. It will run through its, its 15 frequencies and stop when it's done. While it's running, the light on the end of the switch will be flashing. The light will then stop and be on solid when the transmitter is done. Then it's simply a matter of pressing the switch again to start it when you are ready. We have now shown you how to set up the receiver. We've shown you how to set up the transmitter. We've shown you how to do a simple test to make sure your stratagem is working properly. So now I'll describe some of the possible applications for the stratagem. The stratagem measures both natural and artificial fields produced by the transmitter. We measure ENH fields, which then through a calculation, through an FFT and other calculations, we produce impedance curves. This will give you apparent resistivity and phase against frequency. This information can then be inverted and give you resistivity against depth. If you do these measurements at multiple stations along a line, you can now get 2D information about your survey area. So the stratagem can be used in a handful of applications. This includes water exploration, mineral exploration, shallow oil and gas, and academic research, and, and there are more potential applications for the strategy. We have now tested the system in parallel mode and verified that it seems to be working okay. So now we need to change our sensors into the tensor mode, which is the true survey mode. We previously had two of the coils, the two eight sensors, parallel to one another. Now we need to rotate one of the coils such that it's at 90 degrees to the other one. We have now rotated one of the coils so it's 90 degrees from the other coil. This way, when we make a measurement, we get a more complete picture of the subsurface resistivity. We have already accurately measured and laid out the perpendicular E direction. So now we just need to move our EY cable from the parallel mode to the tensor. The stratagem is now set up for tensor mode, for the regular survey. Once we're in Imagem, before we can collect tensor data, we need to set Imagem to collect tensor data. We do that by first, from the main menu, going to Options. So we highlight Options and press Enter. Now from the Options menu, we need to highlight Scalar slash Tensor and press Enter. Now it asks us for Scalar to 0 or Tensor is 1. We have to type in 1, press Enter, and now we're in Tensor mode. So we press Clear or Escape to get back to the main menu. Data, we need to first set our gains. So we highlight gain setting and press enter. Like in parallel mode, we want to ignore the automatic gain setting. So we tell it no and press enter. Once you're happy with your gains for the high press, press enter to move to the low pass.
Like in the high pass, you use the keypad on the console to enter in the gains you want to use in the low pass. Once you're happy with your gains in the low pass, you press enter to go to the band pass. Again, you use the keypad to type in what new gains you want and you press enter. Now that you have finished your gain setting, use the keypad arrows to highlight acquisition and press enter. Imagem now asks you for your station location. This is just a relative position for your station. And this defaults to whatever your last station location was. Or you can type in a new location and press enter. So once you type in what your dipole lengths are, you press enter. Imagem now asks you what bands you want to acquire and how many segments of each. So you type in the band number and the number of segments and then press enter. Imagem has now acquired data in the low pass mode. Notice in the very top of the screen you can see your parent resistivity. Beneath that you have your phase. Then beneath that is the coherency. Finally the very bottom of the screen shows the true resistivity against depth. Now we want to collect data in the high band. So we tell it the band number and the number of segments, and we press enter, and Imogen will go and acquire the data we told it to acquire. Imogen has now acquired data in the high pass band. Finally, to save your data, you first need to clear the line, and you do that with a star key. Then you type zero and enter to save your data. Imogen will go back to the main menu and you're ready to go back and adjust your games, collect more data, or power down your system.